I'm over in the new workshop today, picking up some tools to take over to the old workshop. Now what I'm also going to do while I'm here is see what titanium sheet and plate I have on hand. Sheet, plate, same stuff really I think. Quite a lot actually. Now truthfully, quite a bit of this is stuff that's been cut from before, kind of like this. So it's basically scrap, but a lot of it is is good. I mean, I can see one mil sheet there, four mil, 15 mil. Yeah, there's more than enough for what I need to do for the jet powered skateboard project. It takes a few weeks to get titanium into New Zealand. I've mentioned that before. I have to import pretty much everything here, but it's good that I've definitely got more than enough of everything as far as I can tell. So I can basically, I can pretty much come up with whatever design I want, which is almost there, and I'm gonna have the material on hand. So no issues there. Okay, so back at the house and while I was driving today because you know I get an hour each way for driving I had a good load of time to think about the mounting of the jet engine on the skateboard and I have pretty much come up with the way I'm gonna do it you know what I don't know if I actually need this and this, weirdly enough, because what I probably really need is a bit of paper and a pen. In fact, no, I, I think I can show you roughly what, what I'm planning and then I'll get the then I'll get the pen and paper out. Okay, so here is the rough plan. I'm gonna get the jet engine as low down as possible, and I'm gonna fit it slightly just slightly back from the truck. In fact, let's push this forward and get you kind of centered. So it's really low there. It's almost touching the truck. And it's, you know, the, the front of the engine, this bit here is kind of, you know, above above the wheel really. What I've decided is, this, this tape here, by the way, that's just to stop me scratching the engine when I chuck that on there, because it's just screws. Instead of putting the mount on top of the truck here, I am gonna mount it underneath here, I think. So the plan is to take the mount from under here and basically do a U-bend. Do, do a U right there and have the titanium folding over up onto here. So the, so the mount basically curves around the skateboard. I think that will look good. No, in fact, I think that will look damn good. I really do. And I finally decided on two clamps here because if you look at this, you see here, you see there's a line, you see there's a line, a little ridge there and a little ridge there. Well, you clamp, the clamps go in between there so that, you know, once you clamp around, it's like a safety mechanism, I think, so the engine's never gonna, it's never gonna slide off there or off there either way. So the plan is to put one clamp there, one clamp there. Those clamps will come down to, whoa, nearly lost the engine there. It's fine. So the clamps will then come down onto a bit of titanium here, which I'll explain in a minute, and then that mount We'll go round there and clamp underneath. I think it's gonna look pretty damn slick. Pen, paper. So this is gonna be a very, very rough drawing because I'm using a marker pen so you can see. And you know, I've got this camera in front of me. So I'm like arms outstretched, but hopefully you, you get the idea. I will do the wheel and the truck goes up something like So that's the board there, dotted thing. I'll put dots on it. That means that's the skateboard, the wooden skateboard. This bit up here that I'm coloring in right now, that's the truck. It comes up and it pokes through the skateboard. I believe that is called a drop down. 
something like that could be wrong so what I'm going to do is on the bolts that come down through here I'm going to have to extend the bolts there and there and on these bolts I'm going to put some some square bar so the bar is going to go like that so looking so looking end on if we if you were to look end on the 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 truck would look something like like this and that square bar is going to be there hopefully that makes sense so that's square so I'm going to have one on each side so one there and one there so what I'm going to do next is out of flat sheet of titanium I'm not sure what thickness yet perhaps 4 mil, 6 mil, or 8 mil. I will cut a shape something like this. That's basically the U bend I talked about earlier. So looking behind, that will look something like that on there I don't know if this is making sense I really don't but it's making sense in my head so that's gonna come up around like that and yes for sure titanium is more than strong enough for that especially the thickness I'm going to use there will be negligible flex through here you know like that's really not gonna flex Do you remember the square bit of titanium I talked about that I was putting there I will put the same square bit here so that will go on the outside there one on each side and then after that, I will put a strap. I call it a strap, so a strap that's going to go round the jet engine there. So that'll be a round bit of titanium, round bit of titanium there. And the jet engine will basically fit in there. And that's pretty much it, really. I'm not sure why I'm showing it to you again. I mean,. You just saw it. Eight parts in total, I think. You've got the clamps that go on here, one, two clamps. They then clamp onto two little square bits of metal. They then clamp onto the bits that curve around the board. And then those bits that curve around the board clamp onto two more square bits of metal that clamp onto the truck on the skateboard. Pretty simple. Now, truthfully, I know this might not be that clear to you. I'm aware of that. And I'm okay with that because probably in the next video, certainly the next video on the jet powered skateboard, I don't know when that will be, I'll go through basically the design process, ready to design in fact. So I'll do that on the computer, I'll show you that and then it's off to the new workshop to cut the pieces out. Now what's interesting is and I've talked about this before, I'll cover this very quickly. 99% of the thoughts I have on, on anything I design, or say this for example, I just hit dead ends all the time. Dead end, dead end, dead end. Like, that's too messy, that's too ugly, that can't quite work, I don't have the machine for that, I don't have the tools to do this. It's, you know, it's just a sort of endless frustration, but it's, it's an okay frustration. It's, I know it's just part of the process. I've been designing for a few years now, and I know that's the way it goes, and I don't believe there can be any other way than just this constantly thinking and thinking and, and dead ends and dead ends and and what usually happens and it happens pretty much every time I don't know I don't think it's not happened is that you you think and think and think and you think you're getting nowhere then you give it a break and then suddenly the solution appears so if you remember last week I was spending almost every day thinking how to mount this you know when I was out for a walk driving going to sleep at night thinking how to do it and you know things were getting convoluted it would get simple it would get you know every every possible thing but generally not really getting anywhere and I've just had about five days off I was up at the station you know had three complete days off spending time with my son on the, the sort of farm didn't do much the day before that I've not done much in the last day or so and so I was driving this morning and I found the thoughts I just started thinking about it and very quickly it just the solution came and it was, you know, it was composed of 80% of what I thought about before, the various options, but it just came together just like that, almost effortless. And that effortlessness can only come once you've been through the sort of knee deep, sleeves rolled up, really tough and frustrating times and thoughts and thinking that you go through 
you know, prior to that. And it's fascinating. It seems to be that your, your brain is working on like a, like your subconscious is doing the work. I've seen it so many times. Like I am extremely pragmatic and rational and reasonable and that's where, that's where my brain sits. But I cannot deny that you think and think and think and think about a problem you put it to one side and more often than not a simple elegant solution appears and and that is just undeniable it's it's quite amazing and i think that's enough psychology for today i have got an excellent quote for you today it's not relevant to the jet powered skateboard project but it is relevant to this video and all the videos I do. It's the best description, I think, so far of what I'm trying to do with these videos. I do a video every day. This video you're watching now will be my 213th video upload in a row. Once every day, haven't missed a day yet. Pat on the back for me. Anyway, it's by Walt Disney. And he said, I would rather entertain and hope that people learn something than educate people and hope they were entertained.